So we first go into the app Class Dojo. You click on that. And right now we are on the parent account and I'm calling this parent McGee. And so in the parent account right now, we're on the story side. So if you look at the bottom left corner, it's on story. And when you scroll through it, this has all of our class updates, pictures of different resources and things that all relate to your students class. And also I'll start adding some student shout outs for great work on this story. And then if you want to go message me or Miss Wynn with any questions, you will go into your messages folder, which is on the lower right corner. And if you could see here, there's a message. You click on that. Oh, Miss Pham is saying, how's uploading to Class Dojo going? Oh, it's going great. So that's how you would message me. And then if you want to message our student teacher, Miss Wynn, you can click on Miss Wynn's account and send her a message as well. Now, if you want to upload to your child's portfolio to show off all the amazing activities and things they're doing to learn during distance learning time, you would go to the left corner on the top where your profile circle is. So if you see this green profile circle right here, you click on that. Right now you are on the parent account. It says parent parentheses you. You would click on McGee, which would be replaced with your student's name, and it would say student underneath. You would click on that. And once you hit that, you are now in your child's profile. So in McGee's profile right now, your child can also see the class story. So all the different things that I've posted. There's Kai picking up all his essential tools. Um, but if you scroll to the top, and you can teach this to your child, you would click under Miss Pham's 1920 class, the one with the globe, you would click under where it says activities. Right now it says no activities because we have not uploaded anything. You would click on that. And right here, you can see a to-do list and it also says completed. Under to-do, I might start uploading some activities that your child can do, some challenges. And for the completed area, this is just any work that you want to upload to show that you're doing some work throughout the week. So I'm going to click the plus button, the blue button with the plus sign. And right here, your child can either write in a journal and send it to me. They can send a photo, a video, or a drawing. Right now, I'm going to show you how to upload a photo. So let's say you did some math around the house or you did some letter work. You can take a photo of that and send it to me. So click photo. Then if you want to take the photo, you would just simply take your camera and take a picture of something. If not, you can also click on this little icon with the mountain and sun on the left corner. And this would take you into photos that you already have in your camera. And let's say I wanna upload this one, I would click it and click select. Now this is the picture I wanna upload, so I'm gonna click the check mark on the right top corner. And what's really cool is your child can actually record themselves telling me what they did. So let's practice that. Hey, Miss Fam, this is McGee. He's doing math. Two plus three equals five. And that's an addition problem. You would hit the pause button again so it stops. Then you click the check mark to show that you're done with your recording. And then if you want to help or if your child is ready for it, they can also write a caption. So I might write, McGee is doing addition. And then on the right top corner in the blue circle with a little paper airplane, you would click that to send it in. And it's sending. Once it sends, it's going to say pending, and that's because it's sending it to me. And once I approve it, I can give your child some feedback on the work that they submitted. Now, let's say they wanted to submit a drawing. So let's click on drawing. And over here, what's really cool is you can use a pencil. You can change the color. So let's say I want to draw a sun. You can change it to black, give it some eyes. Oops, that's not black. There we go. And if you need to erase, you can click the eraser, erase it. So that's how you draw. And once you're done with your drawing, 
didn't even write. Hi. And you can click the little check mark that's at the very bottom. And then same thing, you would click the blue circle with the paper airplane, which means it's gonna send it in. Oh, I forgot, you can even add some stickers. So there's some dojo stickers that they can add. So they wanna add this little cool dojo, they can add it. Now I'm gonna hit send. And then you can write a caption or you can record something. Recording in two, one. Hey, Miss Fam, this is my drawing of Sun and Dojo saying hi. Then you would hit the check mark in the right corner and you can write a caption, my beautiful drawing. And you would hit the blue circle with the paper airplane to send. And the same thing would happen. It would be under here and it would say pending so that it would send it to me and then I would give your child some feedback. Let's show you some other options. So click the plus sign again. So we did photo, we did drawing. Now with the journal, you can um, your child can type in anything about their day. They can even draw about their day. They can even add pictures, so they could take a selfie if they want or use pictures from um, your camera, or they can record themselves. Dear Miss Fam, today has been pretty fun. I woke up and I played with my dad, and then we ate some pancakes for breakfast. How was your morning? Then you would click the check mark, and this is a voice note about what your child did that day. And you can hit send. So that's how you would submit a journal. Then I'm gonna show you the very last one, which is a video, and it's very similar to the picture. So you would hit the circle with the plus sign, and then you would hit video. And then the same thing, if you wanna record a video, you would hit the red record button, or if you already have it in your camera roll, you would hit the mountain and sun icon on the bottom left corner. And let's just pretend you wanted to upload this video. You would click this one, select. You would click check. And you would write something about your video. This is me doing some reading. And then you would hit the blue circle with the paper airplane to send the video in. And that's it, it's pending and I will be able to give your child some feedback. So that's how you upload to your child's portfolio. Hopefully this was helpful. If you have any questions, definitely feel free to reach out and let me know. But I hope that you enjoy using this app, it's super, easy to use hopefully and um, I'm looking forward to seeing more of your child's work. Alrighty, I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.